so hey everybody welcome back to the shop uh, it's been quite a while since I made a video mostly because my uh, I take all of my videos with my iPhone and I was running out of storage I, I know those of you who have uh, iPhones are familiar with this problem so what I had to do was basically you know buy some extra storage to plug into the phone and I also bought a, uh, a microphone um, you know to give me some decent audio but all that aside sorry for my uh, for my absence um, you know God bless America welcome back I um, I picked up this SOG seal pup on the recommendation of a friend of mine and I, I can't tell you how uh, impressed I am with this relatively inexpensive little knife so this uh, this knife is a uh, OS 8, right? Stainless. It's powder coated. Uh, it has the uh, reinforced stainless, or excuse me, reinforced uh, glass reinforced plastic, you know, handle. Um, it's actually <laughs> just about the right size, even for these big freaking mitts of mine. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, the knife is made in Taiwan. Of course, the reason I don't have any heartburn with that is because SOG never tried to hide the fact that it was made in Taiwan. Um, it's 4.75 inches long, right, which is, um, I think, pretty optimal. It's really light. It's well balanced. Um, uh, it's hair popping, shaving sharp out of the box, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, it's got the finger grooves. Like I said, even with big mitts like mine, uh, the finger grooves fit well. Um, it's easy to handle. It's, it's lightweight. Um, you know, that said, I'm not sure exactly what the weight is. It is light. I'll, I'll make sure to put that uh, in the video, you know, in comments. But <clears throat> SOG really outdid themselves on this one. So this is the Seal Pup, right? It's not the great big seal combat knife kind of deal um, it's a great little bushcraft knife I'm, I really appreciate it and believe it or not the little nylon sheath that it comes with is pretty respectable so uh, it's molly compatible uh, it's got you know uh, paracord tie down loops on either side so you could actually wear it as a neck knife if you were so inclined uh, or you could lash it down to your gear, however you need to do. It's got a pretty good sized little pouch on it, uh, which I like. So uh, it holds my fire steel, and it also holds a uh, a small Altoids tin or a uh, a small flashlight, whichever you prefer. Um, not a bad little pouch at all. Now uh, the SOG markings on it came bright silver. I just you know, blacked them out with a sharpie. Same with the snap. The snap was uh, kind of shiny, so I just kind of blacked it out a little bit. But it will hang on a on a pretty wide belt. It'll hang on a on a standard issue military pistol belt, um, or you, of course, you can hang it on a smaller belt with your with your Molly. Um, all of that said, for a knife that cost, oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, I think after shipping I paid just under 60 bucks for it. You can't beat this knife. Um, again, lightweight, excellent edge. Uh, it's about one-third serrated. I mean, it's amazing sharp. And um, it's something you can, you can choke up on, right, if you need to for, for fine tasks. Um, super happy with it super impressed for the price uh, I really do not think you can beat this little knife so again uh, you know thanks for watching if this was helpful at all you know give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe the um, the fact that I've been off the air for for so long again I apologize to my subscribers um, I mean I know there's less than 200 of you <laughs> but <laughs> At the same time, uh, you know, I hate to leave you hanging like that. Um, I will say that um, the last video I did was about my garden. Um, 
I think I got a whopping, you know, 15 views. Nobody gives a shit about that, apparently. So the two guys that did actually comment on the video, uh, each of them got a, uh, a bottle opener from me. And, um, you know, uh, thanks very much for, for watching. And I uh, hope this is helpful. God bless America. Thank <laughs> you.